Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for um, mid-August 2024. Uh, you have this ultimate fulfillment card. It says you are now entering a time of peace, happiness, and emotional fulfillment. You have this fleeting flare path. It says something in your life will be brief, not meant to stay in your life forever. So I think that maybe that's what you've been experiencing is kind of like something um, that has or is not, um, or has not lasted forever. So, you know, a lot of you, it kind of gives me like Ace of Wands in reverse energy. The Ace of Wands in reverse can uh, represent uh, like a false start or something um, that doesn't last for a very long period of time. Uh, but you have that ultimate fulfillment card. So again, I think you're leaving behind a false start and you are starting something that is meant to last, clear clearly. <laughs> and it could be love. If you don't want love, this could be something that you will love or do love. And so it could be, you know, anything, um, you know, it could be starting a new business or even with the world card here, you always get moving with me, um, Aries. So a lot of you could be thinking about moving, maybe not this year, but, um, you know, what I would say is over the next couple of years, it wouldn't surprise me, uh, if a lot of you, and, and, and again, so, some of you might be moving this year, but, um, you know, you have, will have Jupiter, uh, going into your fourth house in like, uh, next year, whenever that is. And, um, you know, again, Jupiter in the fourth is notorious for, you know, making you move or deciding to move. Uh, but the thing is you might be thinking about it now. Again, astrology is like a wave. Sometimes we see the wave coming and we catch the wave before it even gets to us. Or, you know, sometimes we catch it early or sometimes we see it. So we start playing planning how we're going to catch the wave, and then we do. So I think that uh, some of you could be thinking about making big moves. And again, the other thing about it, with Jupiter going to your fourth next year, or whenever that is, um, is that you might not, um, you know, it might not be a move. You might be changing jobs, right? That could be a move. You could be um, working, you know, on your family or, you know, something like that. So I feel, I feel that for a lot of you. The Six of Swords would represent moving on. You know, I think you're moving on from something that you see as a false start or some of you have already done this, by the way. So maybe this was a person where um, you could just kind of tell that it wasn't going anywhere if it's love. Uh, this could be like a work collaboration as well, or, you know, it could be a job that you have where I think you can see that either it's going to fizzle out very quickly. Um, and again, if it's a job, maybe you are working at a job where you're just, you can just tell that you are not going to be very excited about it in the future. And I think because of that, you could be making a change uh, towards, you know, or you could be looking and we have the two wands in the next row. And that, that two wands is kind of like a seeking energy. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But I think you are kind of like seeking more fulfillment or you are looking for ultimate fulfillment. Like that card says, ultimate fulfillment. Uh, you have the eight of wands. Uh, if you look, you will find it, plain and simple, right? So eight of wands is you know, traditionally kind of a card of your arrows of love, meaning that you are telling the universe what you want and the universe is responding with sign, symbol, synchronicities and maybe guiding you towards a person. We see that right here uh, going up to the lovers. Um, but I think like in modern times, the Eight of Wands is really, you know, what Esther Hicks calls your rockets of desire. You're telling you the universe what you want. The universe is responding, giving you signs, symbols, synchronicities. And I think that the Eight of Wands, sometimes I feel that we have to pay attention to the signs, symbols, synchronicities that we're getting. And that's how we have quick success with the Eight of Wands because it is a card of something happening quickly or finding quick success. So let's see. Uh, where this is going. Uh, this could also be communication, by the way. Uh, we go over to the Page of Cups. So if you are looking for love, some of you could be communicating with a person this month. I actually feel like the end of the month could be really good for you, or even like the very beginning of September, like that first week of September, uh, you know, could be a time frame where you start communicating with a person. Uh, with the Six of Swords, you have the Death card. Yep, I, I think you are, have buried some sort of false start, or you are just simply moving on from something that is a false start or was. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card of celebration, happiness. Uh, these three women here, they are celebrating a harvest. So I do feel that there could be like a really solid harvest coming in for you. Um, and this could be a harvest of love or abundance or money, uh, whatever it is. Um, I think with the Two of Swords that it's really saying that you could be doing things differently or doing something in a different way. You know, the Two of Swords is kind of like this or that thinking. Uh, and she has this new island behind her. And I always say that that new island could be where this celebration will happen. So, you know, again, if you have a business and you're only thinking, I can do it this way or that way, there might be something else that 
that you haven't thought of yet. And so I always say like, do your research with the Two of Swords because you might come up with like a brilliant new idea that could set you free. And yes, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Chariot. I feel like you're charging right towards ultimate fulfillment is really what we could say about this reading. Eight of Wands is quick success. The Chariot is quick success. But the Chariot is about being in alignment. You know, here's the thing that I'm, I, I am like wondering about your reading. And I say that I'm wondering because we haven't finished it yet. So I don't know yet how I really feel about it. I'm, I'm just going to tell you my feelings, right? So I don't really know how I feel about this reading yet. But what I would say is that I, I'm wondering if you stuck up for yourself. And we can stick up for ourselves by like leaving a situation that is a false start. Or, you know, maybe you get into a situation and you can just tell that it's not going to work out. And when you stick up, you are sticking up for yourself when you leave those situations. Because most people will just stay in a relationship, for example, so that they're not alone, even if it's not right, right? So when you do that, you when you do leave and you do say, you know what, this isn't right, I'm going to go look for something else, even though I don't want to be alone, uh, then you are signaling to the universe that you're in alignment with what you truly want. And the chariot is as above, so below. He has these stars in his canopy, these moons on his shoulders. So because he is in alignment, he gets the victory that he wants. And again, I, I kind of am wondering if that's where this reading is going. Is like maybe you made a choice or a decision over the past like couple months or something. You 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 decided that something wasn't right. You're walking away or you have walked away already. And now the universe is bringing you what you want. Uh, you have this cave card. It says protection on it. You have this sun card. It says light on it. And this is coming up in the area of what is coming towards you. So clearly you are protected. The sun is a symbol of attention. I always say like the sun in the tarot is like a spotlight. It shines a light on things that you need to pay attention to. And it also kind of brings a lot of joy, love, happiness, and light into your life. So there could be a lot of happiness coming in for you here. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. The Ace of Cups would be your emotions overflowing or being really happy. So I do feel a lot of you could be attracting a lot of happiness into your life. And again, it doesn't have to be love, although you have the Four of Cups next. And the thing about the Four of Cups is that he's been disappointed like three times in the past. But there's one more cup that's being given to him or offered to him. So I do feel that there could be like another offer coming in for you and this could be in love. And uh, you know, the problem is, is that he is in contemplation mode or apathy mode and he is not accepting that cup into his life uh, because of his past experiences. But you know, I kind of feel like the four cups is saying to you, Aries, that it, it would be worth it for you to give a person a chance, you know, especially if you're meeting a new person, which we see right here, you know, eight, uh, page of cups up to the lovers. So I think for a lot of you, um, you know, that this is saying like open up to giving something a chance, especially if it's something new. And I would say, especially if it comes in over like the next six weeks or so, you know, I was getting like beginning of September. I don't trust psychic timing at all. The universe doesn't wear a watch. So things happen when they're going to happen. So who knows? But, you know, I, I kind of feel like six weeks would be a good time frame. You have the two of wands. Two of wands is about taking the lead and leaving a comfort zone. And we go up to the world here. So the two of wands kind of represents needing to get out into the world. He is standing at the top of his castle. He has the whole world in his hands, but he is not leaving that castle. He needs to get out into the world. He needs to go have new experiences and try something new. And I think that's where all the success is going to come from for you is, you know, trying new things, uh, putting yourself out there, changing up your daily routine, things like that. Uh, with the, the um, Ace of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Definitely could be a solid connection. You know, I, I just it could be a Libra because you, you showed up about 20 times in Libra's readings. Um, and Libra shows up at the end of your reading, by the way. So it could be a Libra. Could just be a person who has Libra on their chart. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, I think that you could be attracting a person who is different than your usual type. The Two of Cups is like, you know, a perfect match, but they do look very different. And I think you could be attracting someone that you maybe you wouldn't normally go for. And it's not that they're like unattractive or anything. I just think it's just a different type, you know? And uh, you have the lovers right next to it, the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is soulmates. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign as well, or a person who has a lot of earth in their chart, which kind of makes sense to me. Um, but the King of Pentacles would be someone who's very stable, serious, hardworking, uh, you know, could even be wealthy as well. King of Pentacles has built a lot of wealth and, you know, they don't have to be wealthy money-wise. They could just be a very abundant person, right? They could have a lot to offer. And, you know, I, I always think the King of Pentacles is a great person to be with because uh, King of Pentacles, like I said, is usually very serious about uh, creating stability in a connection. The other thing I just noticed is you have the Queen of Pentacles over here. So we have divine counterparts. One thing I will say 
is that usually uh, the problem with king and queen of pentacles is they're not maybe spicy enough right so they're um you know maybe you need to make sure you're keeping the desire alive with this person but we'll see what else comes up uh, with the two of wands, you have the ace of swords. And this is really about just really living your truth, right? Uh, I, like I said earlier, I, I was getting something at the beginning, this first row here, that it's like maybe you left something because it just wasn't right, and whether love or otherwise. It could have been a job as well or whatever it is. And the ace of swords is about living your truth. It says, you know, don't settle for something that isn't right. Ace of Swords is a laser-like focus. We have to be laser-like focused on exactly what we want. And if we are doing things that are stealing our time, effort, or energy, and we're not putting up boundaries against things that are slowing us down or aren't moving us closer to our goals, then we are just gonna continue to slow ourselves down. But if we get into alignment, then things are going to happen very, very quickly right here with the Chariot and the Eight of Wands. So I think that the Ace of Swords is really talking about you being in alignment with your truth. Uh, you have this Gaia card. This is coming up in the area of messages from your future self. And it says, trust the universe has a better plan than you do. You have this workaholic card. It says, having a strong work ethic and giving it 110% all the time. Hard work, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So I think a lot of you have been in hard work mode for many years now. Uh, I also feel that, that again, you could be, the, this card says, trust the universe has a better plan than you do. So you could be walking away from something and just trusting that the universe is going to guide you towards something better. You know, the lovers can be a perfect match or a perfect connection coming in for you. Uh, the lovers is also usually new love. So if you do want love, it's probably someone new. If you don't want love, and even if you do, the lovers traditionally was being at a crossroads, just having a choice to make. And so I think that a lot of you or at a place in your life where you have, you know, big decisions or big choices that you need to make. And uh, the other thing that we have here is the world. So you have that two wands to the world and the world represents completion. So you could be wrapping up one stage of your life and just moving on to a new stage, which we kind of said that at the beginning of the reading, that it seems to me like you are making a move, you know, before you know, maybe even before next year, um, you could be making some moves right now. But I think these moves are in preparation for like a bigger move that you're going to be making in the near future. So, you know, in a lot of ways, I think that you are just making big moves that are leading to total fulfillment or ultimate fulfillment, like that uh, card says. So um, yeah, this looks really good to me. If you're thinking about traveling or moving, uh, I would go do those things or start planning those things as well. Uh, you have the Page of Cups. Yes, I definitely feel like there could be a person who is interested in you. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I think you know who this person is. Like, if I put myself in your shoes, I think you know who this person is, but this person doesn't know who you are for whatever reason. It, or, it, you know, again, take it how it resonates. It could be the total opposite, right? It's like this person could know who you are. Um, but, uh, you know, you don't know who they are, whatever. It kind of give, is giving me like secret admirer vibes. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I think that you know, again, this could be a person who's coming in like after the retrograde, or maybe you are revealing yourself to this person after the retrograde. I, I was getting like the first week of September. I don't know. That could be when they're born as well. But, you know, just popping into my head that, you know, this could be a person who's maybe, you know, who's maybe a little bit behind the scenes at the moment. Uh, with the lovers, can't make this up. You have the justice card, Libra. Again, you showed up in Libra's card reading every single, you know, like 900 times. I kid you not. So, whatever. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to tell you how you're, how, tell me how you're never going to date a Libra. That's fine. You can date whoever you want. This is just what's showing up in the reading. Um, but so it could be Libra. Could also just be a person who has Libra in their chart. So even if you're saying you wouldn't date a Libra, you know, maybe they just have Libra in their chart somewhere. Uh, with the lover, uh, the world. You have the Page of Swords. There you go. Here's the Secret Admirer right here. So um, I was getting Secret Admirer vibes on that Page of Cups, which normally, you know, I don't think of the Page of Cups really as a secret, but the Page of Swords definitely is a Secret Admirer. So there could be a person who's in, uh, interested in you or you are secretly interested in them. And um, yeah, I would just go for it. <laughs> I don't know. I have nothing else to say there. Uh, the Page of Swords, one thing I will say with the World card, the Page of Swords does say that you should be exploring the world. You don't literally have have to travel. You can study, learn about new locations, or maybe you're just going on an adventure in your mind where you're like learning a new skill. It doesn't even have to be the world. You could just be learning something that helps you in the world. And I think with the Page of Swords would be a good time to do that. With the Page of Cups, you have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about taking the lead and getting out into the world. Again, we have two cards here. I'm wondering if this person comes from a different world. Like you could be attracting a person from a distance. 
Uh, you could be, you know, maybe this person lives where you live, but maybe they're from like another country or something like that as well is popping into my head. Uh, maybe they have a different cultural uh, background as well. So that's also popping into my head. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this hourglass card says time is of the essence. You have this green man says the forces of nature fav favor you. So I do think that things are happening more quickly. I actually don't have any worries about time. You know, that card says time is of the essence, but it is coming up in the good stuff. And I, I feel like there is no rush, but I also do feel that um, you are just making rapid changes. I think you are going to notice that like when you're in alignment, things are moving quickly. When you are out of alignment, things come to a grinding halt, especially with these two cards right here, you know, the chariot and the eight of wands. I think that, you know, as long as you are in alignment with your truth, you're going to know it because things are moving very quickly. When you're not, things are not moving at all. Uh, you have the Six of Cups, the Justice card, and the Queen of Pentacles. I almost feel that the Justice card could also be saying that the universe is bringing you like a really solid connection after a difficult connection. So if you have been in a difficult connection, you know, the Six of Cups, a lot of people read it as a person coming back from the past. Uh, I do not read it that way. It doesn't even mean that. Um, even, you know, if you read any of the old tarot books, they all say, do not go back to the past. Um, even, you know, the Cat Black version of the Golden Tarot, for example, says do not go back to the past with the six of cups so you know to me it can just represent a soulmate or like a childlike connection something that's very playful and fun and just good but i almost feel that the justice card is saying the universe is bringing balance into your life because of what you have been through so if you've been through like difficult connections or challenging connections I kind of feel the universe is bringing you something much better uh, because of what you have been through uh, plain and simple you have the Queen of Pentacles. I do feel uh, really good about money, by the way. We didn't really talk about this, but you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And also the Chariot is really good for kind of like having a victory with your finances. So I do feel for some of you, this is you um, improving your finances. Queen of Pentacles is all about finding resources in the good stuff. So you could be discovering new resources, but a resource could be like a skill that can make you more money. Or it could be you literally discovering something that you could sell. So, you know, I would pay attention to that. Uh, with the Six of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a big opportunity that's coming in for you. So there's clearly like a solid love off, off, offer or opportunity. You have three aces here as well, which is crazy. Um, so three aces would be a definite new beginning uh, coming in for you. And, you know, this could be something that where you, you will experience a lot of growth. With the Justice card, you have the Sun. You, have, you basically have the Sun twice because of this card here. So the Sun is a card of love, joy, happiness, you know, good things coming in for you. The sun, I also look at as a spotlight. So the sun wants us to pay attention to wherever it is shining. And the sun is shining on this justice card. And so I feel for a lot of you paying attention to cause and effect, meaning you put energy into something and then you get energy out of it. Uh, the sun wants you to pay attention to like, what are the things you do during your day where you get more back? You know, if there are certain activities or business activities or love activities you do where you get more back, those are the things you should be doubling down on uh, with the sun in the justice card. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. Uh, I feel really good about this. I feel like this is saying that you could be, be overcoming a financial conflict or um, some sort of financial issue that you've been experiencing for a long time. So if you have been experiencing a financial conflict, it looks to me like you're correcting it. You have this not card. It says unsuccessful plans, probably the first row. I think that you have noticed that something is going to fizzle out and it does not have to be love. It could be anything. And I would trust it because again, the quicker you move towards your truth based off this reading, the quicker you're, you're going to experience positive change. Uh, you have this bow card. It says you are highly thought of. A lot of attention. We see a lot of world energy and also the sun. You know, the sun shines a light on you. It brings you attention. So great time for getting attention. You know, I would take advantage of that. You have this four-leaf clover. It says great good fortune on it. So it does seem to be a lucky time. Interestingly enough, like pretty much everyone um, has had a card of luck at this time. So, you know, even though it's a Mercury retrograde, we could all be getting lucky or there could be, you know, there could be some sort of luck coming in for all of us. And I feel like that's what that's saying. Uh, you have this pin. It says new job or career. Exactly what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. It doesn't have to be love. I even think that, again, some of you, it could be a business, a job, a career. It's like maybe you can just sense that you're going to be bored or that you're not going to like it or that you should get something else. And so if you're having those feelings, I think that you will easily, quickly find something new. And if you're worried about that, wouldn't even worry about it. I would just start looking, right? And I think you will find something that's a lot better. 
Uh, you have this line card, it says time to act. You have that card that says time is of the essence. So if you're thinking about making a move, I would just do it right now. And I wouldn't even wait, right? Um, you know, like I said, astrology is like a wave and you are the surfer, right? You have to catch these waves and we can catch the wave early and take advantage of the energy early. So if you're thinking about making a big move, I would do it. Uh, but this looks really, really good. Again, I think you're in for some rapid success, rapid change, as long as you're in alignment is what that's saying. So uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.